Hey everyone, Professor Baldwin here. I'm going to show you how to insert a mathematical equation into D2L using the graphical equation editor. First, you're going to click this three dot icon on the right to show all components. This will reveal the equation editor, the sigma symbol. If you click on the drop down, you'll want to select graphical equation. The editor gives you lots of options to help you construct equations quickly and easily. Each tab at the top opens a palette of related math symbols. This first general tab, you can build equations using common mathematical elements such as fractions, roots, or operators, as well as format the text. The second tab is the symbols tab. Here you can add standard and less common operators such as pi, approximately equal to, or the greater than sign. This third tab is the arrows tab and it allows you to add arrows, ellipses, and dashes. Next we have the Greek tab where you can add symbols such as those for epsilon, real numbers, or even elements from the periodic table. Next, you have matrices and elementary tab, which allows you to set up equations with multiple rows and columns. Next to that, we have the scripts and layouts tab. Here you can set up equations with fractions, roots, or a super or subscript. Then you have what's called the decorations tab. This allows you to add accents or even strike throughs. Then you have the big operators tab. Here you can find sum or product operators in a large font, or you can even enter your own. And this last tab here is the calculus tab, which allows you to add integrals, differentials, limits, and other related functions. We're gonna use the various tabs in order to recreate the quadratic formula. First, we need x equals. And then the quadratic formula is a fraction, so we're going to insert a fraction. In the numerator, we have minus b. Then we need the plus or minus sign. Then we need a square root. And inside the square root, we're going to have b squared. So first we'll type b, and then we'll click this box to add a superscript for our squared. Then if I arrow over, it brings me out of the squared menu and I get to put in my minus and then the next term, 4ac. Then I can click in the denominator to enter the denominator, which is 2a. Now that I have the quadratic formula, I'm gonna click insert and it's gonna insert it into my discussion. There, it looks perfect. So now we can compose the rest of my discussion and then click post.